Hello, in this Vulcan video, we are going to cover physical devices and Q families. So we'll be continuing with the setup of drawing the triangle. We're still doing that. We've got this video and the next video, and then we're getting on to actually, you know, showing some stuff after that. There's a lot of setup. Obviously, once you've got it, you know, you can abstract it put it into classes and you know just reuse it okay so physical devices and q families we're going to actually be specifying what graphics you know device card whatever you want to call it we are going to be using there could be multiple graphics chips multiple graphics cards on your system and technically you could you know trigger multiple we'll just be triggering one to make it very simple we'll be using q families as well to check out the different features that the you know devices have so to do this there's a fair bit of code but honestly it's pretty simple first of all we need a new header and this is going to be optional it's literally just called optional <laughs> it's not optional but it is called optional and then if we scroll down just before we actually created the class, we're going to create a struct called Q family indices. And in here, we're going to do std colon colon optional. And in here, we're going to put unsigned int again if my code on the github page has something like u int 32 underscore t that's just unsigned int and do, 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 graphics family okay so next what we're going to do is create a method in here that's going to return a bool this is going to be called is completed and takes no parameters it'll be a simple return of graphics family dot has value Yeah, that's the one I want. I kept automatically putting the other one. Now, why the hell that was happening? Okay, so now that we've got that, let's create a object, and this is going to be a VK physical device. So we're going to put VK physical device underscore physical device equals vk underscore no underscore handle and do, 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 do. now that we've created that that's what will actually that'll be the actual physical device that we'll be using now if we go to the init vulcan method i like to have space there we're also gonna have a method that's called pick physical device this will give us an error simply because this is a method we are implementing and we have not implemented it yet, but don't worry, we will be momentarily. So if we scroll down to just after where we did set up debug messenger here, we're going to basically choose the right device for Vulcan. We've got a few methods that we are going to be implementing. And so let's do them right now. First one is going to be a void return type. It's going to be the pick physical device. And yeah, that error has disappeared, which is good. Unsigned int device count equals zero. So, so far we got, you know, zero devices and we will obviously just, you know, check how many we've got. VK enumerate physical devices. And we specify the Vulcan instance, which we created feels like eons ago. The device count which is what we've just created now. And for the final parameter, which is physical devices, you could specify something where it's gonna put no point, or going to put no pointer, like so. Now we're gonna check if the device count is equal to zero. If device count is equal to zero, then we're gonna throw an error. We're gonna throw, let me scroll down a bit. Throw std colon colon run time error 
fail to find any GPUs with Vulcan. We're Vulcan. Okie dokie. And now we're going to basically create a vector of all the devices. I'm going to say std colon colon vector vk physical device. And we're going to call it devices. And the size will be device count. And there we go. Now, what we're going to do is put vk enumerate physical devices. And we're going to put underscore instance so the Vulcan instance we're going to put a reference to the device count and we're not going to put no pointer we're going to say devices dot data so we're going to get the data from the devices that we've you know just got here so we've got that information now and now what we're going to do we're going to use the for each loop to loop over all of our devices so we can say for const auto Ampersand device for every device in devices we'll say if is device IntelliSense will not pick this method up because we are implementing it ourselves and we'll be doing that momentarily. So if it's a suitable device, then we'll say underscore physical device equals device again you could use multiple devices we'll be using the one break like so and outside of the for loop when still inside of this function we can say if underscore physical device equals vk underscore no handle that means there was not a physical device that supported Vulkan and then we're going to say throw or you know a suitable device I should say throw std colon colon run time error fail to find a suitable GPU not GPU I just GPU Okay, so now that we've got that, we've got a couple more methods that we need to implement, and those are ones that we've already, you know, called. So the first one is is no bool. So it's returning a boolean is device suitable, and it's going to take a VK physical device object, and in here, all we're going to say is Q family indices indices equal find q families again this is a method that will not get picked up by intellisense because we are going to be implementing it directly after this one it's one more line and that's return indices dot is completed okay so now let's implement the final method we're almost there now not too much code for this one so don't worry we're going to say going to return q family indices find q families vk physical device device and what we're going to put in here is we're going to have an indices of the family indices so indices like so and we're going to have an unsigned int of the q family count so it's going to keep a count of that and say equals zero then what we're going to say is vk get physical physical device q family properties and we're going to specify the device a reference to the q family count so we can modify that and this will be a null pointer Okay, so next what we are going to do is create a vector of the family properties. So vector VKQ just slipped my mind how to spell Q then family properties Q families. And we're going to specify the count, so Q 
family count and we're, we're basically going to redo this line but like we did above we're going to get the data from here so we're going to copy that could type it out that's fine dot data and again it's going to make sure everything's all good because it's easy because so many methods with similar names so i like to give it a once over at least a once over and make sure it's all good it's looking good so far so now let's actually loop over all of our you know you know device families so int i equals zero we're going to do a for each loop so for const auto q family in the q families then we're going to have a if statement that's going to check the q family q flags and the vk underscore q and what is it what is it oh, hang on. I'm slipping my mind here graphics a bit so we've just done an and operation on there. And if they equate to true, we'll put indices dot graphics family equals i. And we're also going to have an if statement outside of that if, but still in the loop saying if indices dot is complete. So it's been so if it's completed, we'll break out of the loop. And finally, we're going to return the indices that is it so now the here is the moment of truth to press the run button so don't look like there's any errors but let's have a look at what we get there we go obviously that word that all of this was just the extension stuff we've got no runtime errors nothing has been thrown so we're all good to go obviously so far we're not drawing anything don't worry that's fine if you have any questions feel free to join the discord group there's a link in the description there's over four and a half thousand members on there now there's a vulcan channel so feel free to post there there's a link in the description to the github page where you can get all the source code plus working projects that you can literally just download double click and run so you can run them as well it's not just source code for each video you've got working projects that's something that i'm more doing now exactly i was originally doing that when I was doing like C++ videos, then I stopped doing it, honestly, because it was just easier for me. But then I thought, I feel like it'd be better for everybody that's learning to not just be able to have code, but to have the code in a working project as well. Then you can just grab the code if you want it. I mean, that's totally up to you. And that is it, really. The next video will cover logical devices, so we can actually you know communicate to the physical device that you'll be sort of an interaction layer and yeah that's it thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye